Hello, welcome to AMTV. This is the fifth video in the Records Management series on SharePoint, and my name is Kalinda. Today we're going to be talking about sensitivity labels. We're going to provide a very high-level overview of what sensitivity labels can do within the SharePoint environment or within the Office 365 environment. You can create sensitivity labels within the security um, admin center, the compliance admin center, or the security and compliance admin center. We will not be discussing the user information protection labels within this video, but it's worth noting that they can sync with the sensitivity labels you uh, create within the security admin center, as well as the labels that you create within the security admin center can sync with your user information protection labels. So what do sensitivity labels do? They allow you to classify and protect your information by applying the labels and the policies to the content across Office 365. Labels can allow you to encrypt your content, you can put a watermark on your content, classifying or classifying the information as secret or confidential or whatever label you choose to put as a watermark. Labels can be applied automatically or manually depending on what you decide for your settings. A label is also customizable, and I will show you that when we get to actually creating a label and publishing it as a policy in a moment. As well, it's in clear text, and that is what allows it to work with third-party apps, such as Dropbox, so you can protect the content or label the content in a third-party application. As well, it roams with the content, so once you create the label, apply it to somewhere, it will follow that document wherever it goes, or the file wherever it goes. So it's fantastic for protecting the information when it's being in use or shared with others. And you can set things such as do not allow it to leave your organization. So we're going to just demo how to create a label and then publish it as a policy. It can be found, as I mentioned, in your security admin center, your compliance admin center, or the security and compliance admin center. We're going to do it from the security center. So once you're in your security admin center, you would go into classification and click on sensitivity labels. So I clicked on sensitivity labels, and there are already some that are pre-built in, but I'm going to create a new one. Create a label. And I'm going to create a label for client data. Let's say you're an organization that receives information from your clients and sometimes it's sensitive and you would want to label your files or your emails with that information. Sensitive client data. In the tooltip, again, this is great for the user. So when would they apply this? And then for the admins who are going to be managing this label, something helpful for that. So all content that is sensitive from clients will have this label applied. Click on next. And this is where you get to have some of the settings. Do you want to encrypt your data? When you turn encryption on, these various options um, appear for you to, to choose from. So you can assign permissions, and what that means is that those you assign permissions to are the ones who will be able to see the content that's labeled with this. So you can assign permissions now, or you can let your users assign them. We'll take that option. Then that gives you the option where you want it to be applied. Let's do Outlook and Word because emails can be often sensitive. Click on next. So we've set it to be encrypted. Now, do we want any marking showing this label? Turn it on and you have three options. You can have it as a watermark, header, or a footer. Let's do a watermark. Automatically, this becomes um, available to click on. And this is where you would put your watermark you wanna have. Click on next. And then we have the option for endpoint data loss prevention, whether you want to turn that on. Well, we're not going to get into this right now, but as you can see on the screen, you can have, there's a helpful article here on how DLP works. So we're going to leave it as off for now. Click on next. The next option is auto labeling for office apps. And of course, what that means is that it will automatically apply the label when you have specific conditions that the content matches. So if we turn it on, 
You can then add a condition. Content contains, we add it, sensitive types, and then it pops up all of these options. Let's say we are working with Brazil and we want to label any client data that comes in with a Brazilian national ID. What this means is that the content will be scanned and if it matches this criteria, the label that we defined as a watermark will be applied as well as the settings, it will be encrypted. And we've created our label. And in this page, you have the ability to go back and edit your settings, but we're gonna say we're fine with them and submit it. So we have a new label created. Now, if you remember, just like in the retention video, you can create a label, that's great, but you need to publish it as a policy in order for it to be available for use. There's my label right there. Now, I wanna publish it. Highlight it, choose publish from here, or you can publish it from there and publish. We've got the label we want to publish as a policy. Click on next. Decide who it will include. We're going to say everyone. And then here's some of the settings. So apply this label by default to documents and emails. Yes, the sensitive client one. Users must provide justification. Do you require the user apply a label? or provide users with a link. So here is where you can set all of those or only some of them. So we'll go with that, click next. And again, you're gonna want your policy name to be representative. So I'm gonna just call it client sensitive data. So how can a user apply these labels to the content? Well, if they're creating a Word document and are typing away or have received a Word document and need to save it, the sensitivity labels will show up on the home menu under sensitivity. Here's our customer data one. Right away, it shows up as a watermark. When you save it, it will save with it in there. And there you are, there is your sensitivity label applied to it. So that's when it's applied manually. You also have the ability to auto apply it. And that would be in instances such as when you're scanning content for some of the conditions that we went through earlier, such as financial data from different countries or national insurance numbers, things like that. So you can have it set to automatically scan the content in the Office 365 tools and automatically apply the label then. So thank you for joining me for a very high level overview of sensitivity labels. If you do want to learn more about them, please feel free to contact us and we'll be sure to help you out. Thanks very much for watching this fifth video in the records management series.